Hey everyone, this is Adventure Dog from Los Angeles. We usually only see recap videos of good trades or of bad trades that somehow went in the trader's favor and they got lucky or they broke a rule like averaging down to get out of it at break even, you know, or just like pops back up in their favor when they were fretting. And so we're thinking, how does everyone only make good trades or why do their bad trades always go in their favor somehow when our bad trades always crush us? Okay, well, it's not like that, guys. People are embarrassed about their bad trades. I am embarrassed about it. I don't want to share it. I don't want to lose money and then spend this time dissecting my bad trade video, sharing it with people. That's especially if I told someone I was going to do something and then I completely do the opposite. No one wants to do that, guys. Okay? Um, so I really encourage people to dissect their bad trades and post videos so we can all learn. And if you're uncomfortable posting it to YouTube through, um, through our BBT, uh, email me. I will love to watch it. We can have a discussion about it. I love watching recap videos because we can all learn. So, so just give me an email if you want. Okay, so here's my, I have one break even trade and then one just horrible trade where I lose 67% of my daily max loss. Um, okay, so I've been talking with people in the chat room about moving away from one minute and moving towards five minute setups that are just cleaner and give me more time to process the information. So I'm watching MU. We know that it gaps up. I have an opening range breakdown bias for profit takers. Um, so I'm feeling good about my plan here. Oh, and over here, I have a a sticky note saying five minute to remind me of my goal to trade the five minute setups. Okay, so I'm looking at the one minute, bunch of chop on the one minute, bearish candle, and then look, oh, we got a one minute break with very low uh, risk here, and oh, wouldn't that have been a great short? Oh, and then look, it's still going down. There's five minutes, so many great trades I missed out on, all right? So the first five minute close is really bearish. I see this low of the candle, it's at 60.52. Next one minute candle, I'm, I'm waiting to short the break of the five minute candle. Um, it hits 60.51, but then I, I remember Peter's video and know that stocks often break one cent below and then they shoot back up. And I never knew why, and I got it from Peter's video. I learned something from the recap. That's due to the bid ask. One cent spread, one cent lower than this, that's not a true break. And so it just shot back up after the one cent break. And I'm looking at it, looking at it. Okay, here's my pullback. Perfect. I'm waiting for the pullback, guys. And then, oh, perfect candle. Now we got the bearish candle with a little wick here. And so now I'm thinking I'm going to short if it breaks that wick. It does. I short. I'm thinking, oh, so great. I finally did it. And then I remembered this isn't a five-minute break. This is a one-minute break within a five-minute. That was not my plan for today. So now I'm beating myself up thinking I already broke my rule. How did I not realize that in the heat of the moment? Um, so then I got out kind of quickly. I sold half here thinking maybe I'd get lucky and then and then sold the remaining here for break even. But now my psychology is all off. I'm beating myself up over it. I'm staring at the stock. So there's the second five minutes and here's the third. I'm staring at it for this break, but because I'm already second guessing myself, I I just don't pull the trigger and I don't short the five minute break, which is exactly what I was waiting for. So now I'm just really upset. I'm doing everything wrong this morning, thinking it was going to be a great morning. So I'm still staring at it. I'm staring at it, looking at it, just really frustrated with myself. And I see, okay, look at this double top. It's going to shoot up. I don't care about the five minutes anymore. I'm just reverting back to the one minute. That's what's happening in my head. I'm thinking if it breaks this, it's it's gonna it's gonna be the bounce that I've been looking for. Look, it's at 60, it's gonna shoot up, whole whole dollar break. Okay, I short it. I mean I go long here for the break, scale in, scale in, so now I have a, a larger position with three scale ins and a higher average. And what do you think happened? I'm trading within a five five minute downward trend. This is a 15 minute really bearish candle. And look at the one-minute chart, guys. What did I miss? Take five seconds to really think. What did I miss? Look. MA never broken all the way down. Well, what do you know? Choop, 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 choop. Luckily, I got out. I did lose 67% of my daily max, but at least I wasn't the deer in the headline. I did get out, but I just didn't see that it hadn't broken the MA. And it was still in the bearish five minute, 15 minute candle, guys. Horrible, horrible trade, but definitely learned something. Hope you guys did too.